90 seconds in counting. The 51L mission ready to go. In Los Angeles, where it is three hours earlier than Florida, NBC's affiliate, KNBC, decided to cover the launch live. This is a special report Coming from Channel 4 News. Point in our Good morning, I'm Ken Shocknick in Space Shuttle Challenger. It's just a few seconds away from blasting off from the Kennedy Space Center near Cape Canaveral, Florida. Let's take a look right now. Challenger finally getting ready to leave KSC. It's launch delayed a couple of times because of weather and mechanical problems. T minus 15 seconds. The voice of launch control, Hugh Harris of NASA. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Lift Solid off rocket boosters off kicking in. The space shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Challenger going into its roll. That's planned. Good roll Watch program. Spiral away from pad 39B. The first use of range. pad 39B since the old Apollo days and the Skylab missions. It's chilly in Florida. Icicles formed on the pad overnight. NASA Engine engineers are concerned that they might have broken off during the launch and affected the throttle, fragile uh, heat protection tiles that protect the shuttle on its way back in during re-entry. We'll throttle down to 65% uh, shortly. Don't know what the effect might be just yet. The astronauts will take a look later on during the mission. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. APUs, the Auxiliary power units. 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. It's always amazing to hear how quickly the shuttle moves. It's already more than 4 miles downwind as we just heard. Engine throttling up. 3 engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. The shuttle mission will launch... My God. 1 minute 15 There's seconds. been an explosion. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This is not standard. This is not something that is planned, of course. I can see a solid rocket booster has broken away from Shuttle Challenger. That's what you're looking at in the middle of your screen. I cannot see the shuttle itself. I don't know if it's able to continue on one rocket booster. If it's able to jettison that rocket booster, it will be able to return to the Kennedy Space Center, perhaps. The shuttle engines are not enough to power the shuttle back down, it would have to shut down. looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. I hope they were able to survive. I hope the astronauts We have no downlink. We have absolutely no sign at all of the shuttle itself. All we saw was that one explosion only about a minute into the flight. And we saw the solid rocket booster. Now here's something coming down. I don't know what that is. I don't think that that's the shuttle. I believe that's a piece of debris that's coming back earthbound. I don't know. It's too small for the shuttle itself. Pieces falling out of the sky in the Florida morning. It's about 20 till noon in Florida. There are contingency plans for the shuttle when something does go wrong, when something goes terribly wrong. We have wrong. a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. 8.40, and we hear from launch control, the vehicle has exploded. That's the orbiter itself, the shuttle Challenger, has exploded. We Contingency must procedures are in effect. Um, assume that the crew is not alive. This is unheralded in the history of the space program. Ladies and gentlemen, I have covered the space shuttle launches uh, since the very first launch, since before the first launch itself, uh, going way back, and uh, nothing like this has ever happened. Of course, there was the Apollo fire on the ground at the Kennedy Space Center, the Apollo 1 fire that killed three astronauts during a test run back in the 60s, but the shuttle program itself, to this time, has been untouched by any human problem.